what's going on. I'm going to go live, and I have to actually ship this painting right here, this uh, Marvin Gaye piece. It's going to uh, the East Coast, so I have to sort of unstretch it and put it in a tube and just ship it because I don't want to ship it, you know, like this because it's just way too expensive. And the best way to do it is just, like I said, to unstretch it, put it in a tube, and to ship it off. But, you know, the tubes that you can get at many stores are sort of small. So this one is a one, uh, one tube, uh, three inches. So three inches wide uh, by 36 inches, sort of three feet uh, tall. So this will not sort of ship something like that. You can kind of see exactly it won't do it. So I have to sort of combine these two tubes together. I'm going to do an actual video on that, but I wanted to just do it live uh, for this video just to, sh you know, show you some behind the scenes of my studio space and what I'm going to do. So let me just move the camera. So what I'll do is basically, let me get my marker. I'm going to mark, okay, where this is and then tack on an extra. So let me see, like right here will be about, about, I'm gonna do almost half right there. So this half will get cut off. So let me do up to there. So it's a rough estimate that I have to cut. I don't know if you can even see that. So it's a rough estimate that I'll have to cut. So it doesn't have to be super exact. It just has to sort of add to this to be enough to sort of take the sort of width of when I roll it up, how tall it's going to be. Hopefully the wording is kind of uh, right. But I have my chop saw. I'm going to chop it on here. So I chop, <laughs> chop that really quick. We're going to add it. I think that's a little bit lopsided. Let me see. I think my saw is off a little bit, so yeah, got to get 90, 90 degrees, not too bad, so we'll do that one more time, now that's a swift cut, so 90 degrees, it will add to the top, so now it fits perfectly, yeah, when you unstretch it, it will fit perfectly, so that is the goal, Actually, you know what, also, tap this down just a little bit too. Now I'll use this one. This is it, just to add some more room, give it more cushion. So now that we have enough to fit into the tube, what we want to do is add a little sort of uh, insert. Uh, sort of be more like a, a security sort of joint. And this is not the best way to sometimes say to stop. So gotta be careful with those. So that's what we're going to do to get that little opening right there. We're going to fit that in here. Or we can do it on the outside as well. I'm going to do it on the outside so that we have as much space to roll this up because this is only a three inch tube. So I have my hot glue as well. So I'm going to hot glue the so the outside of this, on this side, go right there, Ooh. and then the other side as well, I'll do the same, I'll hop through that, do my extra three stick in there, three stick, so I just add in all that hot glue in there, and then I'll take up the tube. Usually I would put it inside, 
first, but I need as much room on that as possible. And I can do it again. Side, so it just adds more security to that joint. So let me add more glue. So all over this thing. And then I will add another joint like that. Just add more security to it. So now this thing is super I'm just going to find a nail or a screw on the screw that can be used. This is good enough in here, like something like that. It's good enough. And pliers, so I can just hit it. I can just go down. So the pliers can just slowly go around. Find out all the screws and the handles. That way, this is a, a good sort of uh, process to learn because as you're getting bigger with your paintings, you will want to shipped in different places, and sometimes shipping them stretch is out of the question, especially if it's super large, you just can't do that. So, you know, if you're paying 8 feet by 10 feet, you know, trying to go to, you know, the local post office, or FedEx or a place like that, you know, you sometimes just can't do it. You can find a art shipper. You know they they are 
around, but they are super expensive. Um, sometimes they are unreliable. Some are really good, uh, but like I said, they're super expensive. You've got to figure out exactly, you know, different ways of transporting the piece uh, that is uh, sustainable because you want to sort of keep doing it. You don't want to have to stop because, you know, it's too expensive or, you know, someone goes out of uh, business now and, you know, ship the pieces. Um, that you love. So this one right here, like I said, it's going to the tube, made the tube, and they will be able to stretch it uh, by going to a local trim shop. Uh, of their choice, you know, usually I would say Michael's or, you know, any, anywhere local know how to stretch something like this. And I give them the size. These trays or special bars that I make are, you know, one and a half inch uh, deep. And they usually go about one and a half inch to two inches over. Uh, the back so that there's enough space to, you know, do a finish stretch of bar if you want to. If you don't want to, fine. Um, best to keep it the same. But uh, it allows you to really just have options. But this is usually what I do with my sort of large pieces like this that uh, are bought by collectors that are not readily available to pick them up. In Denver, uh, usually many of them will live out of Colorado, and some will live out of the country. So I have to do this. But, you know, this would be almost impossible sometimes to ship if it's in another country. So this is something that I've gotten really familiar with going because allows me to have collectors all across the world without having to worry about, you know, taxing them on the shipping. So, you know, it's like, you know, usually my, my work is in the uh, five figures. So, you know, shipping something like this, you know, sometimes <laughs> if it's really, really large, you know, be half the, the cost of the painting, and sometimes that is not a discussion that I, you know, always want to have, or, you know, I want to collect a to worry about, so, uh, this way is the best way, and I don't have to worry about, you know, something puncturing the actual canvas if, you know, there's a problem with the transportation, um, while it's been stretched, this is something where it's kind of like, it's a tube that's easy to track, easy to deliver, and I usually will use FedEx. You know, something like this uh, will cost you around a hundred uh, dollars and less, uh, depending on where you go in the country that you're in. You know, if it's international, you know, you may get into 150, but usually that's like the max I've ever paid to ship a tube. Uh, that tube is about four, four inches wide um, by about, I'd say, six feet. So that was a really sizable uh, tube I was using. I think the longer it is, the cumulative uh, measurement, of course, the more expensive it will be sometimes, you know, even FedEx uh, has a limit. Um, so for international, for international uh, DHL, I think is the one a lot of people will use. So yeah. keep going around. Okay, almost, almost done. Almost done. This is a very laborious stuff. This is why I have to have an intern in my studio to do this type of work because, man, it is like the most 
sometimes painful labor some stuff. We're just going around picking up these papers and having to clean up everything. But it is what I need to do to keep the painting out and about. Okay. This one will be sticky. Yeah, definitely staple these down really good. Okay, we're having a little bit of problem getting things tried up. But it's getting there. Okay, I think this is the last one. Come on, get in there. Whew, I think that's the last one. Let me see if it unravels correctly. Yep. Pouring it in a little bit. Whew. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So, yeah, so. so that is how you want to stretch it. Now I have these stretcher bars for another painting I want to do. So I'm able to save you know, these uh, stretcher bars. And the next thing that I will do is have plastic rolled. As I roll this up as well. So, what I can do. in this hand scroll here. Oh yeah. So I will roll it up and cover it with this plastic at the same time. I'm gonna have to do it's really, really good for the tight roll to make sure that it fits in the tube. So making sure that it's a tight roll from the beginning. There we go. Scissors, I'll cut probably each of right there. Run this across. Put all that extra plastic off. I'll use that for something else. Better save the plastic. I'll get the tape. I will. Sure that the plastic doesn't unravel. Okay. Just to keep it in place. And see, this is super easy. I mean, this is like something that, you know, I was super afraid of when I first started out. But now that I've been doing it for a while, it's like now I'm capable of shipping paintings anywhere I want to. So, oh yeah, so, so it fits in nicely, just enough room. The cushion, the extra plastic, won't let it fly around in here. See, so you do it, sort of, uh, it fills up that sort of extra space. So we put the tube on here. Then what I will do is I will take the top of it half and half, just a 
side. And then fold it in. And then I'll just flip over, you know, all these different ways. I'll take this label off too. That label, really off if I can. Let me see if it comes off really easy. I just tell you something I forgot to do. Yeah, taking off the labels, always something to do at the beginning. Now it's annoying. I think it comes off. I'll get it off later. So, this side. Fold it in. There we go. There we go. Come in. Come in. Come in. Now you have yourself a tube with a painting that is ready to ship. And like I said, it's like usually you can't get these tubes really large. So you have to sort of cut it up, you know, make that joint and add an extra sort of uh, length to it. And now, you know, it's able to ship a painting that was six by four feet. So it's basically something that I've been doing for a while. Just wanted to do a live um, with you guys, uh, showing you just the process of my morning on a Friday and basically just, you know, open my studio up for transparency so you can see what I do. So hopefully you love that, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.